So after going online and finding out uh, what was out there for air filtration, I found out that you pay a lot of money for these units. And I'm thinking, you know, you know me, <laughs> it's a DIY project, right? So I went to DIY, saw what was out there. One fellow um, actually used a um, leaf blower slash vacuum. I thought that was a good idea. Got on Craigslist, found one. It's a beast. Loud. Oh my God. <laughs> But it claims on the uh, Black & Decker site that it only does about 250 cubic feet a minute. So I went and I got this at Harbor Freight. This is an 8 inch, 12 inch long, 8 inch diameter um, portable ventilator. 1590 cubic feet a minute. This is on low. It's a lot quieter, and I think I found a location for this thing. So in the past, I do all my work here. If I want to get some kind of ventilation going, you may have seen me do this. That's about two feet away from my uh, weld area, work area, cutting area. And it's just blowing out. This is all open here. And it works okay. Um, still, I think that a area where I can put a duct just inches away from my work area where I'm cutting or where I'm grinding or where I'm welding, um, that'll be uh, much better to suck all that crap out outdoors. Um, so yeah, this is what I'm looking at. I was mounting this guy up here. So I picked up two of these guys. This is an 8 inch by 6 inch reducer. And some 6 inch hose. This is an 8 foot length. About $15 each. 20 bucks each. I got two of them. I got this at a discount at Harbor Freight for 57 bucks. Normally they're about $85, $89. And last night I took one of these fellows here. And some slots four slots because I realized it was so close to fitting inside just needed a little help so now this pops in like so okay perfect then um, I watched some other guy really struggle with uh, putting his hose on right and what he did I believe is he bought instead of an 8 foot section he bought a 20 foot section which are really gathered tight on the inside that makes it where you can't slide it over this uh, adapter at all. So I kind of glad I saw that before I purchased that, took it out of the package and made sure it fit this adapter before I bought it. I'm gonna drill a hole right in the wall here so that will exit, put a screen there, good enough for me. Got the center marked. That'll work. I'm using this real long guy. I'll show you why in a second. Oh, I can feel it. Hitting ah. old insulation is kind of tough because it gets balled up. And it just doesn't want to get out of the way. Well, I took my drill and uh, just with a little drill bit, right? I just kind of went in, ah, use it as a router. Got a chunk out, now I can get this big pump of uh, insulation out of the way. I got another stud right here that's coming in at about three quarters of an inch, and I'm just going to have to hack away at it. They're all, I'm, I'm clearing this one, but then this one pops up. God, I hate old time fart framers who just come in here and start throwing studs in willy nilly. All right, it's about as good as it gets. All right, now I can take this guy out. Oh, that was wrong. 
<laughs> this is the wrong hole. <laughs> oh man, this is going to be one of those projects. You like it? Yeah. It's not too bad. Put it back on. I want to feel the flow. Oh, yeah. That's pumping the air out. Yeah. It's not too noisy. It's not irritating. Yeah, I was noticing that too. Yeah. It's not too loud in here either. Okay. Got this little fluted plastic cover I'm going to put over here. And I'm just taking two finish nails. And uh, put that right there. Using this duct tape. It's actually a aluminum tape. Just peel. Stick. Oh, it's not too bad. So here's a little before shot. Years after. So now I'm working on an extension arm to uh, so I can articulate my hose at a couple places here in the shop, primarily around the um, bench here and the uh, vise. So I just came back from the dump, and in the metal uh, bin they had these. Um, I don't know. It's probably an old uh, eight foot by eight foot. Uh, canopy tent thing. I got the legs off of it and this is going to make a nice little extender arm. So I'm going to mount this pivot area right above the hose here. Um, fabricated this little guy that'll straddle the uh, ceiling joists. This little block, well you can kind of see the uh, insulation comes down a ways. I need to clear the insulation when this swings around. So I'm going to go ahead and mount this now. Oh, my work. We'll see. So I needed a sleeve to join the two pieces together, the two six inch uh, ducts. And I found a Costco peanut can works pretty good. I cut off both ends, got one here, and I'm going to slide this on here. Take two little pieces and use them to temporarily hold that together. This is great stuff. And this is meant for duct, duct work, serious duct work. It's not just duct tape. That's crap. This is the real McCoy. It's got some serious adhesive to it. I'm going to add another one just in case. So now that I got this setup going, um, I wanted a nozzle to put on the end here, and I just opted for this little trouble light uh, shade here. It's just an aluminum thing, very light. It's actually eight and five eighths inches from here to here. 
I'll just cut that and peel these tabs back. Once it's in here, I can now push on the tabs up against the inside of the the uh, flue here. Well, that's on there anyhow. You can kind of see how that is. I'll throw some tape on there for good measure. So there we go. I've got it all wrapped on the inside and I wrapped some around the outside. Well, that'll be kind of a nice little nozzle for picking up a few more fumes when welding. Will it work? Well, let's just give it an example here. Get some smoke situation going. Let's see how that pulls. Pretty good. <laughs> I have to fish that out of there somehow. Ooh. Well, that was a bonehead move. Now I gotta take this thing all the way apart to get the piece of paper out. I notice it's still in there. Oh well. Come on back here. Oh, there it is. Yeah, I don't want this obstructing things. And then I just added a little hook right here. Hole in the vent. Boom. In place, ready to go. Let's pull it right on up there. That's good. That's what I wanted. So if I also want to uh, change this over to the vice area, track this in a bit, bring it over here, and I rigged up a little guy here. set up to there. So I'll swing that around. I want a light. I could use the grinder light. So there it is in a nutshell. Oh, I'm done. Swing that out of the way. I think it'll work out pretty good for me. Thanks for watching everybody. Have a good day. Bye-bye.